In this video, I'm on a mission to save you money, a ridiculous amount of money. In fact, this video could help 1 million people save at least $1 right this second. And this video could help you save thousands of dollars over the course of time. So please watch this video all the way through because I put a lot of work into it and I'm going to share with you some secrets and tricks that extreme deal hunters use to find the cheapest items. And I've never seen anyone else talk about this openly. So I know a lot of you aren't doing this and I truly think this video has the ability to change someone's life, especially if money's important to you. If you're on a tight income or if you're on a fixed income, this could really, really be a game changer for you. And this is all free. These deals are out there for you to find. You're just not looking for them because you don't know how to find them. And I'm going to show you in this video how to find them. And if you like to shop online, check out this Amazon order. $37.99. I got it for free. And I've done lots of deals like this. And you could too because this promotion's all over the internet every single day. You just need to know where to find them. So if you like what I'm talking about, I suggest you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to talk about stuff like this regularly because I like doing it. And if you like free food, you should probably definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to show you how you can get free food every so often as well. This video is opening up a door for so many of you. Let's walk through it together. Now, this is the most important part of the entire video. You need to remember this information is king. Remember that because information controls the entire process of finding deals. When I say information is king, all I'm simply saying is you don't want to just walk into a store and start looking on the shelves because you're going to waste a lot of unnecessary time when the truth is the cheapest, most amazing prices and deals can be found right on your phone before you even get to the store. Now look at this. This is Instagram and many of you know what Instagram is, I'm sure. Instagram has over 1 billion users, and most of you use Instagram to share pictures of yourself, of your family, of your vacations. But people like me, I use Instagram to share deals and to find deals. And I'm going to show you how you can use your phone and you can use an Instagram account and you can find the most amazing prices and opportunities right from Instagram. Take a deep breath, people, because this is where it starts to get very interesting. And I'm going to show you things about Instagram and how you can use Instagram and how the whole Instagram thing works. Instagram is a community of people. Just to put it simply, um, I'm a member of that community. I like to share deals with people, even people that don't share deals with me. Like I share deals with the public. I just like helping people save money, which is exactly why I'm making this video in the first place. So check this out. I'm in Walmart. I see some clearance deals. I grab my phone because I know I want to share it with the world. And by showing you what's on clearance at my Walmart, it can give you an idea of what might be on clearance at your Walmart. So these Apple watch bands, they're $13. They're regularly $49. I don't need one, but you might. So I'm going to put it on the internet and I'm going to let you know. This Harry Potter thing, it's um, $25, regularly $100. This iPad Pro keyboards, $99. It's regularly $200. This is what we do, right? I'm just a guy that likes to do deals. I like saving money. It gets me excited. And um, there's other people on the internet that do the same thing as me. There's a lot of people on the internet that do the same thing as me. Just good people that like to help other people save money. We share deals with each other. We share deals with the public. And that's what this Instagram community is all about. And I'm going to show you how to tap into the community and make it work for you. So let's go to Instagram. You can either click on the link in the description of this video, or you can go to the about me page on this YouTube channel. And there'll be a link that says Instagram, click on that. And when you do, it's going to open up Instagram and either you already have an account, which is great. And if you don't, you can sign up right there. Once you have an Instagram account, you're all set. I made this account for this purpose only. If you click the magnifying glass, I'm following no one at this time, but when you click the magnifying glass, you can search. And you'll see that Instagram is pretty much just about pictures upon pictures of anything. I use it for deals and you're going to use it for deals shortly. So if you click the search up at the top and you type in super unsexy, which is my username on Instagram, I'm going to show you a little trick that will help you find the accounts that you want to be searching with and looking through. So when you go to my account, this is my account right here. I've had over 1 million video views. I've been on Instagram longer than I've been on YouTube. But if you click follow, check this out all these suggestions pop up and these suggestions are accounts just like mine, which post deals. 
So this is a little hack that will help you see the different accounts that you could be following. And the truth is, in this community, every account is good. Every person is good. Just make sure you're good to the people if you talk to any of them and treat all of their deals and their pages with respect because there's real people on the other side. But these are all the people right here. They pop right up. And I thought that was a pretty cool thing to show you. So now we want to follow some accounts. So if you didn't follow any accounts when I just showed you the suggestions, pretty simple. You can just click that heart right there and it's going to show you the suggested accounts. Make sure it says suggested accounts and make sure it's a uh, deal account or a coupon account. And if this method doesn't work for you, you could always go to Super Unsexy and you can click on who I'm following because the majority of accounts I follow are deal accounts, coupon accounts, clearance accounts. And those are the kind of accounts you want to follow, especially when we're trying to find deals. So I'm just going to go through and follow tons of accounts at random. I hope no one takes offense to this because there's nothing strategic about this. This is just completely random. I I have tons of respect and love for everyone in this community and I follow hundreds of people. So if I'm not following you in this video, like I said, it's just it's just at random. And for you watching this right now, you should look at the different accounts and see what types of deals they post and what types of stores they shop at because there's lots of accounts that shop at stores that I just don't have access to. It's just not in my area. So I might not follow an account, but that account might be absolutely amazing for you. So definitely look through the different accounts and see the types of stores people shop at. That is seriously key. And let me show you something. So every time I click follow, it lets me follow these accounts because these are public accounts, which means anybody in the world can see what they're posting. And that's cool. You know, I'm a public account too, but some accounts are going to be private and they don't want just anyone to see. Look at this right here, right? You click on this, it says requested. That means you have to make a request and they have to accept it. So for this example, I'm actually going to unfollow this right here because I just want to respect them because they want it private for a reason. And um, that's what we'll do. We're just going to go through and I'm going to see how many accounts I followed. Actually, first, let me follow freebie guy. Make sure I'm following him because I know he'll post something good and free stuff finder always posts stuff that's good. I'm going to make sure I follow them for this example. Glitch seeker one absolutely posts amazing stuff. Let's follow her. Gilches always posts amazing stuff. We're going to follow her for this example. And La Cupanistas always posts amazing stuff. And she speaks Spanish. So if you're watching this, she's great to follow. And like I said, no strategy behind this. I just want to make sure that the example is strong. All right. So I'm following 50 accounts now. And I follow hundreds on my profile. So you can go and check that out if you want. All right. So let's see what they got right here. So the first post I see in my feed you click the bottom left-hand corner of that little house. It shows your feed. And I'm seeing a Kroger deal. It's unmarked clearance. So if you want to read up on that and you have a Kroger near you, there's some unmarked clearance that no one else knows about. But you know about it because you're here on Instagram. And now this right here, it was found for $60. It's originally $275. So if you see this, you're going to be able to read the description. And it's going to give you some ideas of something that might be on sale near you. And this right here is Walmart clearance, $15. Let's just scan real quick. And every time you see a deal in the feed, you kind of get an idea of what could be on sale for you locally. And I'm actually going to show you shortly how you can check without even going and checking the store. It's going to be pretty cool. and It's going to be extremely useful. Thank you so much for watching this. And, and please hang on because I'm going to show you how you can find incredible deals on things like laptops. It's going to get really, really good in this video. So please hang on. This is going to be incredible. So basically, we're just scanning, and you're going to have a whole a whole different you know, slew of different items and different things going on. And I'm going to show you how to narrow down the search if you're looking for just a certain store. But for me personally, sometimes people will post something that I'm not even thinking about, and the deal is just that good. So I like to see everything that people post. And it's really easy, you know, it's really simple. There's not a lot of friction. It's just very streamlined. So these are backpacks on sale, Glitch Seeker 1. So kids going back to school, incredibly useful, right? So what else do we got here? Something with the Lion King, pretty cool. And also make sure you like stuff too. Free Apple AirPods if you want to read up on that. This right here is pretty cool, DoorDash. So you can get $10 of free food. Remember I mentioned free food? So this listing, this post, 
shows you how to get $10 worth of free food. And there's a lot of posts like that popping up all the time. There was actually a free burger at Applebee's and you could use it multiple times. So I think my family got like four free burgers one time. So always keep your eyes on the deals because when they come, they come. And there's always going to be different deals every single day. But that's how you can get free food just watching the feed and seeing what people are posting. All right, so this is an Amazon deal for free. So back when they posted this, if you saw it in time, you would just go and buy this. Click on the link in their bio and they give you a coupon code and you can read all about that. And it's a free item on Amazon like I showed you. There's lots of free items on Amazon popping up all the time. All right, so here's Kyle. He just sent me a message and he just asked if this is me on this account because he saw my picture. That's pretty cool. Actually, let me I'm going to keep this in the video because I want to make a point here, right? So Kyle's a good guy. I know him from the community and he just checked out in with me because he saw my picture on this profile. And that was pretty cool because it just shows how tight people are in the community. UPC and SKU numbers are very, very important when you're looking for deals. And I'm going to show you why, right? So check out this listing right here, this post. Glitch and Angel posted about these pools. They're ringing up for $85 in some places. So check out this. You see the SKU and the UPC number? You need one of those numbers typically to search for an item easily. I'm going to show you in a little bit how you can do it without and still find one. But check this out, right? If you have the SKU and the UPC, let me show you what you can do and how you can see if an item is available near you at a good price. All right, so now that you know what the UPC and the SKU numbers are, these are very important to use on this website. This website's called BrickSeek. You can use it from your computer or from your phone. So you want to type it in, BrickSeek.com. Check out how I spelled it. Now up in the right-hand corner, there's three lines. You want to click those three lines. Then you want to click on Inventory Checker. And then you want to click on the store you're working with. In this case, it's going to be Walmart. So we're going to click on Walmart. And on this page, you can see you either select the SKU number or the UPC. We already have the SKU number selected, which is great because that's a number we have. We're going to type in our zip code. And now you want to insert the SKU number right here. So what you have to do is you have to go back to that post and you have to retrieve that SKU number so you can insert it. So it is 988-941245. Let's see if I can remember it on one try. I guarantee you I cannot. All right, so I'm going to type in most of it. Go get the rest of it. Now when I come back, I'm going to type it in. I'm going to click check inventory. And now I'm going to be able to scroll down on this page and see how much this price is for this pool at my local Walmart. So when I scroll down, I see that the price is $200 at my local Walmart, which isn't quite $85, but it's absolutely on sale. So if I really wanted that pool, I could buy it at $200, but I could also wait to see if it drops down to $85. And the whole thing is BrickSeek is an amazing tool and you're going to want to use this and you will save so much money using it. All right, who wants to use BrickSeek again? Let's get the hang of BrickSeek because it's so darn important. So Glitch and Angel has ibuprofen at Walmart posted regularly $1.84 all the way down to 20 cents to 25 cents. So I already have it all ready on BrickSeek so we don't have to wait. This is the SKU number. It's already in. I'm going to click check inventory and then we're going to see if it's local to me. And I want to show you something, a little trick, which is really why I'm doing this part right here. I want to show you this. So when you click check inventory in my area, we're going to see that there are some that are 25 cents, right? But not all of them in my area are going to be 25 cents. The ones in my area that are 25 cents are Walmart neighborhood markets. So it's not the big super center. It's those little supermarkets. And the truth is a lot of deals are in those places because they have less shelf space. Keep that in mind. All right. So I get this question a lot. People ask me when I tell them they should use Brixie. They say, what if I see a picture and there's actually no UPC or SKU number on that picture? There's just a picture of the product and we know the product is on sale. How do I check it on Brixie? Now, when people ask me that, I tell them to do this. It's really simple. So you should definitely take note of what I'm about to show you. And just keep in mind, this post does have the SKU number, but we're gonna act like it doesn't. So what you do is you look at what the item is called, if you can, or you try to describe it yourself. But anyways, this is called the Better Homes and Garden Tremont Round Gas. It's a gas pit, I believe. So you're gonna go to a browser. You can do it on your phone or from your computer. And you just wanna type in the name. And you could also add the word BrickSeek in that search, and that's going to increase your chances of finding this link that I'm about to show you. So when you search it, 
and you go and look at all the links that are populate in Google, if you can find a link that's the Brickseek link, like this one right here, right? You're gonna click it, it's for that product that's on Brickseek, and it already has the SKU number in there. So now you just type in your zip code and you can search and you can see that this item really is $9 locally to me. So that's pretty cool. A lot of people don't know that. They think they can't search it if they don't have the actual numbers, but you can find the numbers on Google using that strategy. Now, the next thing I wanna cover is hashtags. Hashtags on Instagram is a huge thing because people always tag their posts with hashtags so people like you and I can find it. So check out this couponer. They showed a really good deal and then they tagged the bottom of it with all these different hashtags. I see a targeting couponing hashtag, Walgreens, CVS couponing. So let's click on CVS couponing and I'm gonna show you this, right? So we're gonna go right to the page for that hashtag and all these different posts were tagged with that hashtag. You see, that's the hashtag at the top and you can see there's a top tab and a recent tab. Let's click the recent tab and we'll see the most recent posts. And this post right here was recently tagged with that hashtag. We click it and it shows you all the exact coupons you can use to save tons of money at CVS. As you can imagine, that's extremely useful and you'll find tons, thousands and thousands of posts like that. So that's something to get excited about. And this one right here is a Walgreens post, but it's tagged with a CVS couponing hashtag, which you'll see that a lot, you know, just because it's a different store doesn't mean people aren't gonna use a different store's hashtag. It's kind of confusing. It makes it a little sloppy and a little harder to find things using hashtags. That's why I like to stick to um, regular deal accounts. But even still, it's a great way to get an idea of what you need to find, what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a specific store, I will use a hashtag just because it gives you that extra advantage. Another thing you can do from the hashtag page is when you go up to the top, there's so many different posts, right? There's other hashtags that are like that hashtag. So let's click on Walgreens couponing. And we're going to click on the recent again and let's check them out. Now we're going to see all these other different uh, posts that were tagged by the Walgreens couponing hashtag. So this is a quick and easy way, right? Like, so this person, they just showed, they took a picture of things that they found in Walgreens today. And you can look at them and you can see like what's on sale, maybe get some ideas, maybe get excited. This is just one very, very simple example. But the truth is you could do this with any store. I'm talking Lowe's, Home Depot, Dollar General. Amazon, you can do this in so many different ways. It's really exciting, right? So let's click on a different hashtag. Let's click on Target couponing. People love Target. And honestly, Target and Walmart are huge on Instagram. So many people shop there and post about deals. So if we're gonna check out this hashtag, you're gonna see when you click on a Target hashtag, you're gonna see lots of people showing like the outfits that they bought at Target. Sometimes I don't like using the Target hashtag as much as I like using the Target account because there are deal accounts on Instagram that are dedicated strictly to Target. But at the end of the day, you get the gist. You know, there's gonna be different accounts posting about different things, and you're always gonna see different types of posts circulating around Instagram. So long as you're involved with the community, you're gonna come across some really good deals. So check this out. Um, right here, we got something. It's in the Target couponing hashtag, but at the same time, it's a Walmart deal. And you're gonna see this all the time because typically it's like Walmart, Target, they're very similar. But I say it's always worth looking at the hashtags if you need to find something specific in a specific store or if you're about to go shopping in a specific store and you want to look for something. But once you play around a little bit on Instagram, you're going to have a different perspective on how this all works because you're going to figure out that when you look at certain accounts, certain accounts are just totally dominant in posting deals. And a lot of accounts will repost which is a good thing, I think, because it makes sure that more eyes get on certain types of deals because in the feed, you don't always get to see every single deal from every single account that you're following. So check this out right here. We're looking at some Walmart deals, Walmart clearance finds. There's a SKU number right there. So if you want to look for this product specifically, you could use BrickSeek right now. And basically, it's that simple. So many deals are being served to you all the time on Instagram. All right, everyone, listen up so closely on this one. We're gonna talk about turning on post notifications and post notifications is one of the little hacks, one of the little tools that you absolutely need to use if you wanna find the best deals because a lot of the best deals sell out quickly, especially if you like to buy online deals. So what you would do is you would find an account that you really appreciate and you really like 
and you really just feel like they're going to post a really good deal for you. And in this case, I'm going to do Glitch Seeker 1 because she always seems to post really good online deals. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on any post in their profile and click on the three little dots in the right hand corner. And when you click on these three little dots down at the bottom, it's going to pop up and say turn on post notifications. And you're going to click that. And now the post notifications are turned on. So next time she posts something and it's like, look real fast, this is free on Amazon limited supply act now i'm going to get a notification on my phone immediately and i get to be first in line for that opportunity so i made this part of the video for all the people right now that are thinking well he's not really showing deals that are that great he's only saving a few dollars on food and laundry detergent and deodorant whatever it is that you're thinking right now stop thinking that because i'm going to show you what i call massive lists and glitch seeker one put out one a few weeks ago it's a massive list of laptops and Chromebooks that were marked down at Walmart. And you see all the SKU numbers? So think about how valuable this list is. And I'm going to tell you right now, she was the first one with this information that I could find anywhere on the internet. And when she posted it, there were laptops down the street from my house that were on clearance from $800 off, $700 off, $500 off, and there were tons of them. So that's pretty exciting. So, And if you're in the reseller game and you want to flip items and make money, this is extremely valuable. So this is the kind of power that Instagram has. There's people like Glitchseeker1 all over Instagram and they're sharing deals and they're promoting bargains and they're helping you save and it costs you nothing. She doesn't charge you any money and these other accounts, they're not charging you any money. They're just giving you the information for free because they like sharing. We share, we help. It's an entire community of people just like this that spend their time. Look, she wrote out this whole post showing you how to use BrickSeek. This is, this is an incredible place for people to be if they want to save money. The deals are here, the information's here, and great people are here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a quick hashtag search, and this is gonna be extremely useful. Before you go into a store, you can target what you're searching. So you click up here where it says tags, you see that? You're gonna click where it says tags, when you're in the search function. And I typically recommend people use the word coupon, like coupon community is a big one. Even if someone's posting a clearance deal that has nothing to do with coupons, let's say it's Target clearance or Walmart clearance, they're typically gonna use the coupon community hashtag. And on um, this one's extreme couponing, let's click on this one right here. So there's 2.3 million posts for extreme couponing. And the number one video right now that's showing is a video I made. That's me inside of Ross. And I'm just showing people that you can get car cleaning supplies cheaper in Ross than you can in Walmart sometimes. And I used extreme couponing even though there's no coupon being used. People will do that. So this is coupon family. There's so many posts, 1.3 million. Let's click on couponing community is a very, very popular one. I recommend you do. And the top video, that's a video I made as well. I'm just showing people how to use the Walmart app. And there's no coupons in this video that I made, but it still shows up because I use that hashtag just to reach people who want to save money. So the word coupon doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use a coupon. It could just be about deals. And you can see right here, let's just say you were about to go into Target. If you typed in Target, all the little Target hashtags are going to show up. So we have Target clearance right here. And you can just search and see what's going on inside the store before you even get there. Now, if you don't know what Instagram stories are, it's time for you to learn because Instagram stories are an amazing opportunity to save even more money and find even more deals. Let me show you. So up at the top, you see these circles right here? When you click these circles, each profile has a story circle. When you click it, it brings you to their stories page. And if you click the right side, you can scroll through all these different stories. Now these stories delete after 24 hours. So a lot of people use these stories. All right, right here, Kyle posted $25 off of $30 on DoorDash. So you get $25 of free food. He posted that in his stories probably because the deal's not going to last that long. So a lot of deals that are really great deals and they're really quick deals, people will just pop them up in their stories like that was a free item on Amazon. There was a glitch going on. So what you want to do is you always want to check people's stories because I am telling you, sometimes I find the best deals in the stories. And, you know, just to make a post, about a deal that's a really fast deal that might be gone really quickly. Sometimes making a post isn't the best way to do it because the item's gonna already sell out. So people will just pop it in their stories and it's a great way to find amazing deals. All right, if you're still watching, let's go and do a deal together because it's the least I can do. Let's go and have some fun. I'm gonna show you exactly how it all works. 
So let's just say you were on my profile, Super Unsexy, and you were going through my posts. You wanted to see what types of deals I was posting about. And you came across this post. And this post tells you that Little Caesars gives away free cookies. All you have to do is ask for them. And a lot of people don't know that. When I made this video, people went crazy because a lot of people didn't know you could get free cookies at Little Caesars, right? So that's really cool. But before we go to get some free cookies, let's search some pizza hashtags. So if we search pizza coupon for a hashtag, we're going to see right at the top, there's a Little Caesars coupon. It, well, it says if you order with the app, you can get a free two liter. You just have to use this code. So that's kind of exciting. We can get Little Caesars right now. We can get free cookies and maybe a free two liter. So we're going to jump on the app and see if that works. And what we found out was that the uh, code free 2 l without the three at the end actually worked for the free two liter. So that was pretty good and exciting. But one thing that I have to tell you is I went with my wife and people who, you know, do couponing stuff, you know, this very well. It's always smart if you're going with multiple people to make multiple orders. It only takes an extra minute. But now we can get extra cookies and another free two liter. So that's what we did. My wife grabbed one. I'm here at the drive through. I got the pizza. I'm about to get my two liter. And then I'm going to ask for the cookies. Let's see if they give them to me. There's my cookies. So, all right, I'm excited just because I like the free stuff. The cookies are for the kids. Calm down. I know everyone's laughing at me. All right, so we're back at the house. And we got 12 cookies. We got two pizzas. We got two two liters for 1082 total. Those are the actual email receipts. So just to show you, I mean, the money was saved. You know, some places charge $2 just for a two liter. Money was saved. The cookies were free for the kids. It was all exciting and whatnot. The sad truth is this video could save so many people so much money and they don't even know about this method. I'm talking about real life. I get emails every single day from single mothers, from disabled veterans, from elderly people on fixed incomes, and I know this video could benefit so many people. And the reason I made this video is because my family and I have this goal where we want to help 1 million people save at least $1. And I know for a fact that this video alone could accomplish that. But it's a matter of getting the information out there because information is king. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. But even more importantly, I want to ask you to think of someone in your life that might be struggling with money that could really use this video and consider sharing this with them. Thank you so much.